All right, I'm in the area. Find yourself a good spot to get a bird's eye view. Start looking around for hordes. We'll do the rest. Target confirmed. Package inbound, on your paws. I say again, on your paws. Done and done. Tell Eric he owes us. Target identified. We're zeroed in. Contact in three, two, one. Package delivered. Have a nice day. All right, we've got a strong signal. I think it's another beacon. It's saying 1-1 one, one, Tango Mike Papa 2-5 Delta. Are these coordinates? I don't know what they mean. Keep your eyes open. Should we go? Happy to help. Cool. Let's head down towards Marshall. I think I know a place that might suit us. Or we can just drive around for a while and see what we see. Your call. Possibility. I'm cool with that. So what was that with you and Lily? It's a long story. Now there's not much on the radio to fill the time. Good point. My mom died when I was 13. Lily was nine. Sorry. Yeah. Anyways, not long after that was when Lily was diagnosed. And our dad, he was, um, he's kind of a wreck. I had to pick up a lot of that slack. Jacob. I need you to be a man. Help take care of your sister. You know what I mean? It was a lot for a kid to live up to. I didn't handle it well. And as soon as I turned 18, I told my dad that I was moving to Danforth and I was going to college. Go on. Oh, man. Man, he blew up. We had a huge fight. Didn't talk for years after that. I finally got back in touch with him just a couple of months ago, actually. And this is my first visit home. I don't think Lily's quite forgiven me yet. Well, what do you think? Check this place out. It's got a big yard, a privacy wall that we could fortify pretty easily, and check out that tree fort. We could turn that into a watchtower easy. You seem awfully excited about this place. Yeah, well, yeah, when I was a kid, my best friend Sally, she lived in this house. And I was so jealous. I always wanted to live here. Well, then let's take a look inside. Jesus! Who's... I can't see. Help me. <laughs> what the hell was that? Don't know. That... that didn't look like any disease I've ever seen. You? No way. Maybe we gotta go, huh? <clears throat> That's a few options, at least. There might be more out there if you look around. I'll think about it. Sure. Big decision, I get it. Just remember, tree fort.
but what happened anyway? Man, I was stupid. I was searching this garage for some gas for the generators when I heard some of those cops from the courthouse start coming up the street. I mean, I don't know, maybe they would have left me alone. But I heard those broadcasts. I didn't want to take any chances. So I jumped out the back window. And of course, what happens? I land right in the middle of a goddamn horde. Please tell me that you're joking. I managed to get clear, but they were right on my ass and I was low on ammo. All I could do was hole up in an empty house and hope that they got bored. That's our place. Thanks again for all the help. Hey, why don't you come inside? The least we can do is feed you. Oh, thank God. If you ever do something that incredibly stupid again, I will kill you, okay? Hi, Becca. Don't you hi, Becca, me with your aw shuck small town charm. I can't believe you. We need to stay close to home. Jack could have died out there. I couldn't risk that. No. You just risked everything we have by leaving this place undefended. But I'm glad you're home safe. Well, you can thank our friend here for that. We'd have been in real trouble otherwise. Okay, I admit it. I'm impressed. You happy? All due respect, Your Honor, we're stretched too thin as it is. You got half my guys guarding the dispensary instead of out there pushing these things back. I understand the difficulty, Sheriff, but I don't know what you expect me to do about it. We only have so many trained officers left, and I'm not comfortable with the prospect of arming civilians for this kind of work. If you'd let me start training them, I... We'll discuss this later, Sheriff. We have a visitor. Welcome. I suppose you've heard our broadcasts? Well, it's all true. We have a safe, secure society here, governed by the rule of law. Walk with me. I'll explain. You have a society? I I'm sorry, what exactly happened to the United States while I wasn't looking? Look around. We're facing a disaster of unprecedented scale. We have no way of knowing how widespread it is or how long it will take federal authorities to respond. Until they do, we have to look out for ourselves. It may not be the most constitutionally traditional succession, but it's all we have. All we have? The army's camp just, just across the river. <laughs> Yes, and other than vaguely threatening radio broadcasts, they've made no attempt to contact us or provide relief efforts to the civilian government to be that way. And, of course, all firearms will be surrendered. Only duly appointed law enforcement officers are allowed to go armed. Right, right. Well, thank you very much for the offer, but we're doing just fine on our own. And I'm damn sure not surrendering my guns while the streets are full of flesh-eating dead people. I'm very sorry to hear that. We'd certainly prefer it if people joined us freely, before the issue has to be forced. Is that a threat? Just a reminder that the Wild West doesn't last forever. Don't take it personally. It's under a lot of strain. We're penned in pretty good by these things. Like you might have heard, we're short-handed. Tell you what, help me clear some of these problem areas out, and I'll vouch for you. Put in a good word, maybe set up some kind of trade arrangement. All right, we've got a strong signal. I think it's another beacon. It's saying 1-1 one, one, Tango Mike Papa 2-5 Delta. Are these coordinates? Feel like I'm on it. Hope you're geared up. We've got a few infestations to deal with. You think it's bad now? You should have seen Marshall in the first couple of days. Seemed like half the town was already dead or dying. The other half was trying to cram into the courthouse for protection. Mayor Carson had got himself shot trying to cross the bridges. The city council was locked in a conference room and refused to come out. The police station was overrun. It was chaos. Judge Lawton stepped up. Got us all over. Mayday, mayday. Is anyone reading? We're trapped. Lots of zombies outside, and we're out of ammo. Don't know how long we can hold out. Sit tight. Help's on the way. Come on. We can deal with the rest of these infestations later. We gotta help those people first. Saved me. Thanks. We owe you big time. Don't you worry about it. We're happy to help. Cool. Call it a day there. The rest of those infestations can wait a while. I appreciate the help, though.
Thou shalt suffer. Behold, the demons shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Are you okay? Losing a friend hurts, but we can't block it out like it never happened. Our memories are the only legacies they can leave behind. I know them that much. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. We'll be ready. <laughs> You seem troubled. Is, uh, everything all right? Huh? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. watch. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. It sounded like it was pretty important to you. I figured it was the least I could do. No, no, it's fine. Let's get you to the infirmary. <laughs> 